Oh look, a survival story. Dude, we need to find a road. I know, I don't see anything but trees and pond. What the heck? Oh, here comes a cabin. Oh, all right. We're gonna prove to these guys that we are the survival kings. They don't, they're not gonna, they're never gonna believe us when we get home. There's a guy. What the? Hey! Over there! Oh, leg. Hey! Hey! You guys gotta get out of here. Dude, what happened? Dude. We gotta go, he's coming back. Who's oh, coming yeah. back? Don't touch it, don't touch it! Oh. Right, we gotta Dude, get he's bleeding to death. Hold on, he's bleeding to death. We gotta, we gotta tourniquet this leg. Got a big leg. Oh my gosh. We gotta get, oh. Here, put that through the hole. You want to type a bow line? Yeah. Right. No, square knot, square knot. Square knot. Square knot. You all right? Hey, where, which way did he go? Three yeah, square There's three of them? Dude, we gotta Oops. go. Hey, well, this is... Come on, let's get in the car, come on. <laughs> yeah. Where is it? What's going on? Don't How go. many of them there are there? Don't go, there's... I don't know. Don't go around the bend. I'm cold. Crafty. I'm getting cold. Oh my gosh. He's dead. Dude, what are we gonna do? We just ran out of gas. We found a dead person on the side of the road and he's in our car, and we're stranded in the middle of who knows where. Well, no one knows where we're at, so we're gonna have to build a shelter and survive. Crap, dude. Hey! Whoa! Who's have this? you guys seen this, like, really big guy? His name's Ty. You know, he's kind of husky. He's oh, I huge. Think we just, like, passed him, and he's, he's, he's in died. our truck. He's dead. He died. He, he just died? Dude, we gotta get him. Oh, oh my God! Oh, God! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Ty! Ty! Wake up! He's Ty. dead, dude. Dude, he's dead. He's Die. dead. He's dead. Die. He's dead, dude. Die. Oh, we gotta get him over. We gotta get him over here. Come on. Dude, what are you guys even doing out here? This is the middle of nowhere. I we're in the taiga and I have no clue where we're at. We gotta survive somehow. Well, me and my buddy Ty, we were out here camping, and then all of a sudden our GPS failed out of nowhere. And then we got lost and we didn't know where we were at. And then all of a sudden this guy came up with this red beard and he said he would help us out. And then I then Ty went missing and I couldn't find him. And then we found him dead. Did you just get away? Yeah, I mean, I went out to go get firewood, and then I, when I came back, because you guys no were lost. Yeah, yeah. This, this is crazy. Dude, it's, the taiga is so nice. It's really nice how we found this enclosed place with a whole bunch of pine trees. This is probably where we're gonna have to stay. Are you kidding me? We gotta find some water though. Dude, the first thing in the cold weather like this, the taiga, the first thing that you have to do is get shelter. Because it's really cold and if we can't stay warm, we're never gonna live. That's, we gotta get food that's after our, that. That's shelter is our first, shelter and warmth is our first priority. Yes. Okay. If you say so. And then we can get water. Alright. Then confirm that we are experiencing a category 5 snow weather warning and it is expected to snow up to 10 feet. This emergency is going to put many people into survival situations and here are a few things that you need to know. You are going to need to survive. You are going to need many things such as shelter, fire, food and symptoms. This is very serious cause. You are going to need, if you are in the snow, which is supposed to snow up to 10 feet, you are going to need to dig a cave to house yourself. This is the shelter. You are going to need an make an entrance to this cave in the snow. You're digging a cave in the snow, that's your house. The entrance is supposed to face the opposite direction of the wind, and you're not supposed to directly sleep on the snow. And when you're sleeping, dig canals so water can run through them, and you can collect that water overnight. You're gonna need to make a fire. To make an effective fire, first you're going to need to gather dry pine needles, which are going to fuel this fire. Soft wood helps start fires and hardwood helps keep them going. Remember that. If you are trying to use fire as a signaling device, you should definitely use green leaves to signal. When you are ready to go to bed, you can cover the fire with dirt so you can sleep on, sleep on it that night for a warm bed. You can also throw rocks into the fire until they are hot and you can do many things with these rocks. You can keep them, you can keep yourself warm throughout the night by using these rocks. The best way for food, <coughs> excuse me, is 
to cook in wintry conditions is to boil the food. This not only cooks the food and it makes it healthy for you, but it creates a broth that you can drink afterwards. Symptoms and health conditions and how to treat them. Hypothermia is the main cause from being out in the cold and stranded in the survival situations. This is a medical emergency that occurs when your body loses heat faster than it can produce heat, causing a dangerously low body temperature. And some symptoms are shivering, clumsiness, slurred speech, stumbling, confusion, poor decision making, apathy, and progressive loss of consciousness. This has been a news report from the Dale clan. Thank you. Dude, we gotta run. What? Dude, we can't run. This is a brown bear, obviously. So we gotta get down, face down on the ground and put our hands over our heads because this is just territorial. Are you but stupid? What are you doing? No, you I'm serious. Get out of here. This is survival. If this was a black bear, it would be trying to eat us. But it's a brown bear. We gotta get down. All right. We gotta get down. We gotta get down. <laughs> I think you gotta go make a shelter. You see the bear is leaving. It's leaving. It did work. We did. You didn't yeah. believe me. I didn't. I didn't. It worked, dude. Yeah. All right. Now we gotta get food. In the order, we gotta get shelter, then water, then food. Cause we're gonna die of hypothermia. I think I got some stuff in the truck to make a shelter. All right. Let's go. I got a tarp from fishing in the truck. I got a shovel or two. All right. I got some food, possibly a drink. I got a mirror so we can signal. That'd be nice. Huh. I got some rope. I got a pocket knife. Yeah, that, was a that was freaky. That bear, that was a close encounter. Yeah. That was, I, I hope we don't encounter it again. I'm so glad I, we got out of that. Yeah. It's pretty messed up that guy died. Yeah. This shelter is perfect. It's covering us from the wind from all angles. We got these pine trees surrounding us because we're in the taiga. This is perfect. The snow from above is not going to get us. As long as it's not heavy snow. It yeah, this, is, this tarp is perfect. This is covering us from the snow on the ground. This is great. Yeah. We can stay here for a little while. We got warmth and shelter. Cody's out looking for food. Now we just need to find a source of water. We're missing Cody. He's been gone for about two hours. Now. Hey guys! Yeah, it's oh, hey, Cody! Look what I found! What is that? I found a deer. Dude. You got some pieces off of it? Yeah, you I cut him up. Deer? We'll be able to string those you out and dry them out. Deer? Yeah, I know. It's kind of wet right now. Let's dry him out. Pretty Wait, bad. you found a dead deer? Yeah. Oh, dude, you cut it. Might have been that bear we found earlier. He might have. You might have killed him. Dude, we can go back sometime later and get cut some more pieces off. Yeah, I know. But we got to make sure that animals don't get attracted to it. Yeah. And then find us. Let's tie him up in a tree. Yeah. Let's dry it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is. This looks like good stuff. All right. Dude, I'm glad we got this rope to dry out this jerky. I know. Hey, dude, is that jerky finally, done? Yeah, it's finally dried dude, out. Dude, this is dried out. This some. is nice. Yeah, dude, let's get some of this. Dude, this is good. Here, take some. Mmm, this is good. Yeah. Wow. We, we gotta remember to ration it, though. Yeah. Because this stuff's gotta last. We gotta save this. Mm -hmm. This is good, though. Yeah. Good job. All right, we got a source of water, this snow. We can melt this somehow, but we got to find some firewood. Guys, we need to go find some firewood, make a fire so we can melt this snow, and then we got to purify it somehow. Okay. Dude, we got to light this fire. I'm glad you had that lighter in your truck. I know, me too. Grab that pan of snow. Oh, yeah, we got this pan. All right, the, light, the fire's lit. Let's go. Let's make up some water. It's going to be some good water. Dude, it's finally melting. Let's go. This is going to be good. Oh, yeah, it melted. Dude, yeah, it melted. It's boiling. Yeah, that's good. Woo. Let's go. This is going to be good. We're going to boil all the bad stuff out of this water, and this is going to be purified. Take your time. Try to get a straight stream. Get that's as much as we stream. can. Atta kid. Atta kid. Yeah. Dude, I'm glad you had that pan in your truck in this canteen. This is going to be good. Oh, scoop up some more snow. Uh, it's good water. It's good. Fox is out there looking for some more food. Hey guys! Oh, what? Guys! Oh. <laughs> hey, look what I found. What did you find? I think I found some berries. 
You found berries? Yeah, in the oh, winter, I know. We gotta put them on yeah. our lift to no, make sure we, we can, don't get a reaction. No, 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 we can eat them, but we have to make sure of three things. We gotta touch it to our lip and see if we have a reaction. We gotta How long do we wait? touch it to our tongue and see if we have a reaction. And no reaction. Now we gotta bite a little piece off and then we wait, eat it. Wait about 24 hours and if nothing happens, we can eat the rest of them. All right, now we got more of these berries. Are you sure they're safe to eat? Yeah, dude, it's been 24 hours. I'm fine, look at me. All this, right. Does this face look fine? Good? Delicious. This is... We need to find a way of signaling people and stuff. I just went off the car back there and broke this off the rear view mirror. Here. So we can signal a plane if we ever find one. Yeah, I know how this thing works. See, what you do is that you take the sun, and then what you do is that oh, there's a plane. Yeah, right. Oh, right, right there. Wow, do it. Here, you just you just aim it off your glove right here. You find the glare, and then you just aim it, and you try and get it right into the cockpit. You just keep aiming and aiming, and hopefully he'll see us. Oh gosh, dude. All right. What's that sound? Hey! Oh. Dude, Cody's been out there for a while getting the rest of those berries. He's always out there for a while, though. Yeah, he is. Let's go look for him. All right, it's been about four hours. Let's go. Cody! Where's Co Where is he? Cody? Cody! Cody! I see him! Uh, Cody, we're coming! Dude, Cody, you've been out here forever. What happened? It, it was this guy. I think it's the same guy that killed Ty. How do you oh, feel? Oh, he attacked me. I'm so hot right now. Dude. I'm sweating. He's really hot. This is a sign of hypothermia. Oh we my gosh. Get him back. Dude, let me check your pulse. Are you all right? Oh my gosh, he just died. He's dead. Dude, I can't believe he died. We gotta get that guy. He killed Ty and now Cody. I know, we definitely gotta get out of here. We gotta get rescued. Cody died, well, he didn't kill Cody. He died of hypothermia, but still, it's his fault. We gotta yeah, find this guy. Him. We gotta get rescued. Okay. Dude, I'm glad you had these canned green beans in your car. I know, the Now that Cody died, there's more for us. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And this we can go good. back and eat, cut up that deer and eat it. Yeah, this is good. Is anybody out there? Did you hear that? What was that? Hmm, look. Dude! Dude, did you hear that voice? Where did that come yeah, from? Yeah, I think it came from uh, the south. Here, I got this compass. Which way is south? I think it came from that way. All right, that's south. I'm glad you had this compass in your car. All that's right. what I'm saying. Let's go. Hey, is anybody out here? Yeah. Oh, I oh, hey. oh, 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 thank God we found you. Where, Where are you, you guys? From? Who are you? Oh, I'm a pilot. My helicopter's right back there. I was flying my plane over here, and I, I saw a glare. You saw uh, a signal? You yeah. were in that plane? Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I saw a friend oh. was signaling. He just Dude, died. He died. Oh, man, that sucks. Yeah, he's the only one that knew how to. He's like perfect technique and whatnot. Oh, sucks, yeah. Man. So, do you guys want to get out of here? Yeah. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let's go. go. Dude, this is great. Wow. This reminds a story I read called Hearts of Kurt by John Tibbetts. He was a World War II pilot that crashed in Alaska. He had just survived the. Uh, cold, harsh winter in Alaska after surviving uh, the plane crash. He struggled to find food, water, and shelter and tried to find ways to signal to people and eventually he was saved and came to write, write this true story. Oh my gosh, those are the guys from the survival story I just read. Oh my gosh, are you Logan Franke and Cody Appenzeller? Yes, why? I read your book, I love it. Oh, Surviving in the Taiga? Yes. Yeah, our friends died, it's pretty tragic. It was tragic, but you guys are awesome because you survived. Yeah, we signaled to our, uh, to the plane man and he came and rescued us and now you know how to survive. Really love oh you guys' book. What? That's the killer. <laughs>